Well, hello, our Avon Middle School South students and families. Great to see you again. This is Dan Pio, the principal here at Middle School South, coming to you from one of our hallways here in the building with another Making Room for More update. And we wanted to give you some updates on what's new, what's different, and what some of our plans are for what the building will look like. The hallway that we're in right now is right next to the cafeteria. This is part of the building that was a little bit um, newer more recently than some of the older part of the building that's behind me. Behind us is a technology space for our technician to be able to work on student laptops. So when students have an issue with a laptop, they can come, there'll actually be a window around the corner here that rolls up so that way students can come right up to the window, hand their laptop, and then we're, we're using a space that maybe wasn't as well used in the library. So that's one of many different areas in the building that's currently being touched. Welcome to the South Cafeteria. This is one of those spaces that will be under construction later this school year as we work to reconfigure our serving lines and make it, a again, just a refreshed space for our students. So I've moved down the hallway a little bit from where I was by the tech space that's getting renovated. And you'll see, uh, if you've been in Middle School South, some familiar brown tile that's on the walls um, with some vinyl above. We are excited to be doing some uh, refreshes and updates to the building uh, with some paint and some other kind of details that we're going to add and uh, you'll be able to see some of the characteristic Avon colors that we're starting to see in the district the yellow the grays those different kind of colors to be able to freshen up um, these walls that have been here for some time and um, rather than completely replacing this tile we're actually going to be able to paint right over it so we'll provide that neat and clean and refreshed look that we're so excited to be able to offer to our students um, you'll also see down the hallway we've got some lockers that were over here next to the gym that just haven't been utilized that much so we're finding areas like that are going to be available for some great graphics just to be able to kind of pull in some of the new logos that we've got that go along with our Avon athletics and uh, just to be able to provide some more pride for our students in, in the wonderful building that they have here at Middle School South. This gets into the oldest part of the building that's been here the longest. Some of you who maybe went to school here at, uh, when it was Avon High School may recognize this part of the building. Similarly to what you saw before, the area on the bottom and the area on the top is going to see some paint um, to unify us with the other paint schemes that are going on throughout the district. We're also going to be doing some updates to our stairs in this area. There's one over here and there's one on the southwest corner that just needs some love in terms of um, some retreading of steps and those different kinds of things just to refresh this. There's some exciting updates happening up here as well. So paint, like I mentioned, on the walls. This floor is actually gonna get replaced as well. This is VCT tile, and it's gonna be replaced with some luxury vinyl tile that will look like the terrazzo that hard surface flooring that Middle School West is getting. Just so excited about those unifying elements between the different buildings. Right now we're standing in what used to be a math classroom and it's going to be a new science lab. We have a science classroom next door where Mrs. Dugan currently is. There'll be a finished prep space that will be shared between and then we'll have another science lab that will have casework that will go all the way around with sinks for labs. We may have some shuffling as we're doing the construction while school is going on, but uh, we're gonna really be careful to ensure that the instruction goes without with, as much as possible with as few interruptions so we can get everything done but also keep the learning going. So we're upstairs still in a different part of the building, the northeast part of the building. This classroom is a smaller sized classroom that's been used over the years for interventionists to be able to pull small groups of students to work on specific skills that they need. In order to ensure that we have enough space for our sixth grade that's going to be coming to us next year as we add sixth grade to our 7-8 building, we're actually going to do some uh, renovation in these three classrooms here. So a room like this and two more will turn into two normal sized classrooms and a teacher prep space. In addition to that, just some cosmetic things, making sure that doors are swinging the right direction and taking care of some flooring and paint in this part of the building. Uh, but again, just another great space that then we'll be able to use even during the year to be able to facilitate some of the other construction that goes. So this new classroom, even this year, could get used as a flex space for other classrooms that need to be renovated. Well, you're just entering one of our PE classes going on here this morning at South. And uh, if you haven't been in the West Gym, which is our 
our main gym here at South, you really are missing out. It is one of those classic Indiana gyms that you think about when you think about the many different gyms and the popularity of basketball in Indiana. One thing I'm so excited about is that we are trying our best to retain the unique character of each of these buildings. So there are still, still some plans in progress for this but space. We're not quite sure what that may look like, but just know that we really want to maintain the character of this space and many other spaces like it, while also ensuring that we have an equitable experience for our students regardless of which middle school that they go to. In our schools, we are really intentional thinking about trying to provide an experience for our students that's more same than different, whether that's the hallways that they walk down, the curriculum that they're experiencing, the way they are learning, our teachers network, the planning that we're doing on our construction. We are really aiming for that more same than different, regardless of where our students are. So behind me is our orchestra edition that's on the east side of the building, probably the most visible and well-known part of our construction going on right now to be able to support our growing orchestra program that's just continued to grow over the last 20 years since it was first founded. And we're excited about this space. We, it took a little time to get it going, but we've got some good traction now that we've gotten some of the utility work done that took some time over this summer. We'll start seeing steel soon as well. The process is similar. If you've driven by middle school north, that's very similar in terms of what this will look like. So we're excited to see that progress. I drive by it every day just to see what's going on. And uh, we're super excited about being able to open up that space for our students, hopefully by the end of January. Well, it's been great to bring you these updates. We appreciate your engagement and kind of knowing what's going on here at South and throughout our other uh, schools in the district. We do our best to continue to be good stewards of the money that we have so that way we can continue to support our students well and be able to provide these great experiences regardless of what building that they're in. Everything that we're able to do is able to be done without any additional cost to our taxpayers and without any use of our referendum funds as well. So for now, I'll sign off and we'll be looking forward to sharing more, making room for more updates with you in the future. Thank you.